kaydettiğindeyiz. E, medya ve iletişim sorumlusu İlker Uçer'e de teşekkür ediyoruz bu röportaj için. First of all, thank you very much for your time. And it is now uh, March and uh, it is there is March Madness. Uh, you follow Florida Gators, right? Yes, yes. Uh, are they favorite, favorite nowadays? Uh, they're not the favorite, but yes. they're, they're playing good basketball right now, and I mm -hmm. think that um, I think they can make a run in the in the NCAA tournament. Do you have a favorite for this bracket? Um, I think Purdue. Purdue. Purdue Boilmakers are gonna are win it all. I will try. Okay, thank you very much for that tips. So, uh, how do you? Uh, evaluate this season. So, how did you prepare yourself mentally uh, to Euroleague season at the beginning and nowadays? Because uh, as the, with the team, but the performance is rising nowadays, and also you are leading the team. It's obviously seen uh, from the uh, stands. I mean, uh, how do you evaluate this? Um, for us, uh, you know, we had a little slow start in the beginning of the season, and then. You know, we had some changes, and you know, I feel like now we're playing good basketball. We're playing good basketball at the right time. I think um, when you know teams do stuff special, they play uh, great basketball at the end of the season. And um, you know, we have I think five more games left, I believe, and huge games for us. And um, as a team, uh, you know, we're moving the ball. We're playing very unselfish. We're you know together and. I think we have a great chance to do to do something special. There is a slight change with the transition of two, two coaches, so th this changes positively. It is seen. So, how do you compare and contrast the uh, uh, change, and uh, what are the most advantages thing in this? Uh, uh, I mean, breakthrough. Let's say. Uh, okay, you know, um, with Coach Tudis, uh, you know, we obviously didn't start good, and if you play for a big club like Fenerbahce. Um, you know, it's demanded that you win games, and um, we didn't do that. And I think uh, Saris brings a lot more um, intelligence with the, you know, with the team. You know, running the systems, um, putting everyone in the right place, um, basketball-wise. And um, I think that's that's helped a lot for our team. And and as you can see, it's uh, you know, we're winning games. So you contributed a lot to your team. So uh, this team is also giving feedback to you. For example, you are giving assists where you have a vision uh, on the court and this vision leads to some scores uh, offensively, yes. very efficient, uh, high efficiency. So how do you uh, compare and how do you evaluate this? Uh, for me, you know, I just try to run the team. Uh, being the point guard, um, I try to put everyone in the right place, try to get um, some open shots to our shooters. For us, we have a lot of scorers on the team. So it's pretty easy for me to be able to find them and and get them open shots. And obviously, coach uh, puts us in the right position to be able to capitalize on other teams' mistakes and how they play. So for me, you know, our team is very talented offensively. I think uh, everyone knows that. Um, so it's for me as a playmaker, it's it's nice to have this around me. Of course, you are a Euroleague player, and you are uh, most important candidate for the Euroleague legend uh, after your career. And uh, it is obvious, but uh, it is very difficult to play in Euroleague. Uh, it is difficult to pass, difficult to shoot. There is huge and heavy defenses. If you compare it to NBA, also dimensions are yes. very different. So, how do you uh, evaluate this? Is it very difficult to because you have also NBA career? Yes. Uh, I think, you know, it's different styles. Um, I think NBA obviously is a lot more space um, to do things, you know. Um, they're obviously a lot more athletic, let's say, um, than the European style, but I think European style is more uh, basketball IQ, um, reading the game uh, and things like this. And I think uh, you're seeing a lot of it transition to the NBA, the European game, you know, if they run plays and things like this. I think it's starting to, you know, both work out um, over there in the States. And I think for sure it's, uh, it's probably more tougher to play in Europe. Um, as you can see, you hear like guys like Luca say it's easier to score there. Um, you know, he's played over here for a long time, so he understands and you hear it from a lot of players. So I think the space is huge uh, in the NBA and it opens up everything. I was coming to that question. I was prepared for this Luca's uh, speech. Uh, you have a great, tremendous ability to pass. 
you see everything on the court in the uh, uh, in one second or half half mm. second. So, is it the ability or is it a gift to, from God? Or I think I think I've always had it. I think I've always had a, a f great feel for where people are at. Um, I feel like that I can see stuff before it happens sometimes, um, and it's also uh, who you play with. You know the feel that you have uh, with a chemistry with a guy. You know, I've had uh, some great chemistry with some of my teammates that, you know, that you can't really, you know, teach, you know, what we see. It's just how we, we play. Basketball is also considered numerously easily in numerous ways and statistics-wise. It is obvious, but uh, it can be seen that uh, you are shooting very well nowadays. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this season, there is a good breakthrough it is seen do you believe uh, I, I believe that you know when a coach has confidence in me uh, and my teammates have confidence in me I think as a player it's very easy to to play better and to shoot better and for me I have a lot of confidence right now and um, you know let's say maybe at the beginning of the season I, I didn't have so much uh, like I do now and um, you know I feel good I feel it's nice to you know go out and play with these guys when you shoot, it is the team is unstoppable because there's, uh, I mean, everybody is shooting. If you shoot, then the defenses are uh, having uh, uh, low efficiency yes. for your defense. Let's say, mm -hmm. so uh, you believe so? I mean, you are shooting better in this season. Yes, I, I believe I'm shooting better in this season for sure. Um, you know, and hopefully I can keep doing it, and you know, we'll see. How how is the feeling playing on the court in Fenerbahce? You get in front of the fans. It's, it's very nice. They've been um, supportive all year for our team. And as you can see, uh, I think we have the best record uh, in EuroLeague at home. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for us, I think it gives us extra boost always to play in front of our fans. And, and you know, we need that, uh, especially, you know, the game tomorrow and uh, throughout the season. What are the most important factors about these records? Because we are developing, yes. uh, obviously, the records each and every month, let's say. I think it just shows that our team is uh, very talented. Um, you know, like I said, offensively, I think that we're one of the best in EuroLeague. I think defensively, if we play uh, better defense, I think that we can be a, a great team at the end of the season. I know it is difficult to uh, assume or uh, forecast for the rest of the season, but if you consider the opponents, uh, how do you put your team in the standings? Uh, you know, for us, uh, our big goal is to get home court advantage because if we get top four, I think um, we have a very good chance to to make Final Four because it's difficult to beat us on our home court. So these last five games are, are going to be crucial for, for home court advantage, and, um, you know, that's our main goal. Do you have any forecast for the other three Final Four candidates? I have no idea. This is what, um, you know, the EuroLeague is special, I think, this year because, I, you know, you, you can have six teams that have a chance to make Final Four that are strong teams. So, you know, once it comes playoff time, you never know what can happen. So how do you say about your days in Istanbul uh, and Greece and Turkey as a very common culture and common uh, philosophy about uh, manners, behavior? Yes, I think it's very common. I think the people are very similar. I think... Um, Culture-wise, it's very, very similar, and you know, um, sports, basketball-wise, is is similar. I think traffic here is a lot worse. <laughs> um, but other than that, you know, you got the water here, you got the water there, and the food is maybe a little different, but um, is, is, is, I see a lot of similarities. So, in the final phase of the conversation or interview, uh, what are your message to the fans? So, uh, there are many games. It is five games, and we never know where the team goes For sure. through. Ah, we keep supporting us, keep uh, coming to the stadium and, and cheering us on, and hopefully that we can make them proud. Nick, thank you very much for your time. Thank it you. It is a uh, great interview. It is a great pleasure, but also honor for me to thank, interview thank you. you. Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Türkiye, Cumhuriyet'in 100. yılında turizm rekorlarıyla gücüne güç katıyor. Zengin tarihi, Dünya Mirasları listesindeki kültürel...